Everyone is having a dickens of a time in Skinny Atlas. Plus, a group of renegades are making up their own fun. But sometimes you just need a movie and a cookie. It's all happening next on WCNY Connected. Hello, welcome to our second show of WCNY Connected. We're Ted and Amy, and I feel so much oh, better this I'm week. Oh, I'm so glad. I, I apologize if you sat through the debut show. It was fil filled with a bunch of good stuff, but just was. Ted was under the weather. So. I was. Getting ready for the holidays, it's finally kind of feeling like Christmas. It is. Woo! It is. A little We've, bit uh, chilly. Finally got the winter weather. Yeah, yeah, we do some snow on the ground. That's got to put you in the holiday frame. That's of true. Mind. I, and you know, I hope that you get into the holiday frame of mind <laughs> by signing up for the holiday luncheon that I'm doing at our office. Why do you put all this undue pressure on me every time this year? Amy throws these little parties at work where you know you have to bring a dish and she puts it's, a sign up list on the door. And you guys and, always enjoy it. We have like a re gift exchange, which is always fun. But I've determined that there's three different types of people. That work in offices. Okay. First off, there's people like me that either start planning the event, right. or as soon as you know you have a sign up sheet, they sign up to make the the chicken mm -hmm. wing dip and call it a day. They're famous the ink whatever. Is even dry. Right. right, right, the first day. Then there's kind of people like you. I put you in the second category that have to go home and ask the wife <laughs> what they will make what she's for you to, to bring. <laughs> and if you forget at the kind of the last minute, you sign yeah. up to bring napkins. Uh, well, and then. There's the third group that never say anything and ignore all the emails that you send out. Right. But they are the first ones to get in line <laughs> at, at to the have luncheon, right? the food at the luncheon. Oh, what is it? Chicken wings? Yeah. Uh, so oh. I have determined oh. that every single we'll office of can those. be divided up into three different right. groups. Well, well, as soon as I find out what my wife is willing to make, I'll sign up on the sheet. Okay. I promise. All right. Well, all good. Right. And did you hear? Yeah, we just talked about the winter weather. Yeah. Finally, well, we broke the record of having the most days without snow. Right. 288 days. That's incredible. I enjoyed every single one of them, especially, I'm telling you, yeah. I, I don't mind the cold weather, but boy, the snow, it's just, you have to get up early because you're not sure how long What that means is, though, that we had like 77 days of snow. Of snow. Right? Well, you can't think of, that's certainly the cup With half 77 empty. days of snow. No, we're going to enjoy it. And you know what will definitely get you into the holiday spirit? Well, mm. Central New York is just overflowing with holiday traditions. Each year, about 70 actors and volunteers converge on the village of Skinny Atlas oh. for four weeks and transform it into a scene right out of a Charles Dickens <laughs> most beloved story. It goes All without right. saying, there's a lot of preparation for this annual event. So we popped into one of the actor rehearsals this year to see some of the memorable characters and how they're developed. The one gift I would certainly give each and every one of you, blessed citizens, is a warning. <laughs> I don't take the law lightly. You so much as step on a spider without just cause. We will be there, and that's the long and short of it. Thank you for your time. This summer we did the Sterling Renaissance Festival, and uh, Jim Green, who heads this, uh, asked what we were doing in the winter, and my usual answer is nothing, so that's what I told him. And he said, come down and do Dickens. And I grew up here, so this is a lot of fun to walk around the streets of my hometown and act like an imbecile. Excellent. Really good, you guys. I have the seat stay in your characters. I just want to give you a couple notes. One thing that I really, really, really appreciate was how much reincorporation. You guys are clearly listening to one another and, and, and letting that flow into the creation of this community. And that's lovely. You prepare by coming up with your character in concert with the other people. And you do, you do some research to find out what it would be like. And then you filter that through the sort of Courier and Ives, Rosie, Dickensian, Victoria, um, Victorian era. All the kids want to be pickpockets because they hear about all the fun stuff we do. And during the Christmas season, um, the spirit of Christmas comes upon us and we become put pockets. And we actually put things in people's pockets instead of picking them. So, you know, it's our, our little way of giving back to the community. I'm a performer and I so love to perform and I love the holidays. So this is a great fit. So, um, I'm also hoping for uh, frostbite and possibly uh, consumption because a lot of people died of it at one point and, you know, all those people can't be wrong. I can't imagine now Christmas without doing Dickens. We have so much fun, as, as my character often says to folks, well, you know, dear, everyone can sing at Christmas time. It doesn't have to be opera. Things happen organically because it's an interactive, improvisational street theater situation. So what I hope to get out of it is another good bit that we can use next year 
And it happens. We have things that we do year after year that just sort of happened, you know, on the streets. So. Well, my gift would be to the lovely constables over there, and I would give them the gift of blindness. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, joining us oh now to talk more about Dickens Christmas is Sue Dove, Executive Director of the Skinny Atlas Area Chamber of Commerce, and the man himself, Charles Dickens. Oh, my. Hey. Sometimes during the rest of the week goes by Jim Green. Welcome, folks. Welcome Thank to you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Well, tell us how you guys started creating this idea in Skinny Atlas. Well, we've been at it 16 years, and it was actually a group of merchants who started it, had the idea, sort of saw something similar to it out in Minnesota, and said, gosh, wouldn't the streets of Skinny Atlas be the perfect backdrop for a Victorian Christmas? And that's how it was born. And sort of has come up to a life of its own and it's uh, it's been amazing this wow. year's been a great year yeah. now, do you send out a mailer to all the residents in skinny Ellis saying would you like to be a part of this or how does, how does <laughs> well, someone we do get auditions. involved um, uh, Jim does auditions in October uh -huh. so that yeah it's open to anybody who wants to come and try and I will let him speak to the audition piece. well we yeah we have open auditions and because our whole show is improvisational based we don't have big scripted you know mm -hmm. it matter and they're singing uh, all the people sing carols but it's not at the Metropolitan so you don't have to sing you don't right. we'll we'll pretty much use anybody it's mostly though <laughs> the, the skinny Atlas residents well that are yes really involved we, yeah, with this? yes okay. we, we have a lot of local volunteers a lot of young people I'm very proud of our big group we have 25 or 30 kids under the age of 16 oh, that come wonderful. in and they bring their friends the next year and we we really set the bar high we really hold them to a high standard now, and they, they step up. It's How interactive great. is the public with you? Do they do they get right into it with you when they're when they're out on the street? Probably streets? some well, do. Yes. Some, 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 some do. Some do. You have those people that look down yeah. at the ground. Please don't talk to me. Please don't talk right. to me. Well, we don't do things that are embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, we just engage people, right, and, right. and and it's a, it's really that's the magic of the whole thing is right. is walking around and looking people in the eye and saying Merry Christmas or right. Happy Holiday or you know make that connection sure. and that's what uh, really makes it all work. I have to say the village of Skinny Atlas is picturesque oh. throughout the year, but Beautiful. holy cow, yeah. in, in December and Right leading up to the Christmas time is absolutely beautiful. All your little you. stores and yeah, everybody decorating. really does a great job decorating. We try to really work on decorating the village, the gazebo, the whole mm -hmm. bit to sort of give that magical feel. And at nighttime, it really does. It looks awesome. All right, so somebody's coming down Route 20. They just park their car and start walking around. Or got it. There's yeah. basically the three streets. We go on Genesee, Jordan, mm -hmm. and Fennel Street. And okay. Sort of like a little loop, and then you just walk through the stores, walk around the streets. There's sort of interactive street theater. We've got little skits going on. There's special, there's a magician up in the library, which is awesome. The kids just love him. Uh -huh. He does shows at like one and three. There's free chestnuts on one corner, free carriage rides on another. So this is kind of all day during the weekend or certain times well, that we should to focus four, on? Well, noon to four, noon to four, and at two o'clock is our big midday revels. And, right. and uh, <laughs> President James K. Polk and Queen Victoria and myself and, and uh, Mrs. Fillmore host this Christmas Carol sing wow. and everybody comes. We just, it's so much fun. And we all gather around the gazebo oh, and, and sing Christmas carols. Well, uh, have a great rest of yeah. the holiday Thank season. You. Thank Absolutely. you, Sue and Charles, for joining if us. If Charles was here, what would he like to wish everyone? Christmas is a time when men and women seem by one consent to open their shut up hearts freely <laughs> and look at each other not as separate races, but as fellow well, to travelers on the gravy train. <laughs> Sure. Thank you, Mr. Some Dickens. Whoa, if you'd like more information about Dickens Christmas and Skinny Atlas, you can visit them online, of course, at skinnyatlas.com. Yes, absolutely. All right, don't go away. We've got so much more coming here on WCNY Connected. We'll check out the must-see movies opening this weekend and grab a cookie, Dad. You're all over that. <laughs> Plus, that. we've got the inside scoop on a Christmas classic playing on the big screen in Syracuse. Plus, we're going to make some stuff, uh, make up some stuff with a bunch of renegades. WCNY Connected, we'll be right back.